top of this fine morning to you, this fine Monday morning. They still got their Christmas lights up there at the municipal office. That's nice. That's nice. And what's that coming up behind me there? I, I don't think the camera's quite picking it up. There's sunlight on the horizon. Oh, sunlight on my way to work. That's a good sign. It's gonna be a good day. Well, the light is still purple. I don't know if you can tell in this daylight or the sort of this twilight. What do you call this again? Just before the sun comes up. Twilight's just after the sun goes down, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. You see? Still purple. Wonder how long it's gonna take them to replace that. There's another purple one by town over there. Apparently the reason for that is a defect from the manufacturer. So uh, they've gotta replace it, send it back. I've heard that they're all under warranty, so. I don't know, what do I know? get some more stuff done today yet. Gotta keep it moving. Every day. It's supposed to be really warm today actually, like minus two. For my American friends, that's uh, just below freezing. So that's probably at 30, 29 Fahrenheit. I didn't even need my jacket today. Since we're into February already, we only have like one or two more weeks of like a few nights being very cold and it's already starting to get warmer and warmer. So the truck is running better. Freight is moving easier. The trailers are working better. All of our equipment works better. We're just about over that hump to slide on down into summer. in my trailer behind me is going to uh, Fayetteville. Fayetteville? Fayetteville. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Or Fayetteville, Arkansas. Bing, bang, boom, done, dropped. Now I'm bobtailing and I'm looking for a van trailer 5068. 
We got a whole bunch of freight in Winnipeg. We got some busy times here. It's a busy Monday. So I have a feeling there will be more after this as well. But let's fill this trailer up first. 5068. Do you guys see 5068 anywhere? I don't know, the fisheye lines doesn't really help, does it? 5179, 5048. Looking for a van, that's 5040. 5082, 5116, 5200. Uh, is it over there? I don't know. 5151, 5200, 5060. We're getting close. We're getting closer. I can feel it. 5199, 5180, 5068. <laughs> hey there, little buddy. I hope you're all cleaned out inside. It'd be really nice if you were. Let's go take a peek real quick. Should be clean inside. If not, we shall clean it. Oh, compressed air, compressed air. Lovely. Let's get this out of the way. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that second floor down then and clean up all these straps. Okay. That is the opposite of what I was hoping for, but it's okay. We'll get her done. They're in too much of a rush to wait for me to set those floors up. You can, uh, Hold them back up onto the wall and it turns into a regular van trailer, right? Oh, oh, another truck pulling up right beside me here at the same time. Oh, no, he's just pulling up. Okay. I gotta go grab 5200 instead. Which is just across on the other side here. Uh, I'm gonna need my gloves. This one's not a floor trailer, so I'm not expecting there to be a floor down, but I might have to sweep it out and we'll see. They're supposed to be clean when they're parked here, but uh, sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes there's a good reason for that too, so just do, do what we can. Make sure that... Uh... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I might need two hands for this door. Come on. There you go. Just a little quick sweep. You know, I'm just picking up pallets and we're just bringing them here and then that load is gonna be uh, spread out into different trailers anyway. So I might be okay just like this for now. Okay. I always bring the guns to work. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go pick her up. Alright, everything's good. Fill the trailer up there. We hope you go check for air leaks and we'll be out of here. We're all good. Alright, so they're in a bit of a rush for this freight. So that little bit of uh, uh, dust, dirt, and uh, bits of wooden stuff, very minor down there I'm not too worried about it they're gonna load this freight in on pallets and we're just gonna bring it here and it's getting split up into different loads so for now it'll be fine but when I get back later I'll sweep it out to the next guy we'll have a perfectly clean trailer to grab onto the reason we have it we need it so clean sometimes is sometimes you pick up food grade product or uh, paper or uh, something that needs to have a smooth clean floor uh, for that you need to have a very clean trailer but what what we're doing now, it'll be fine. And I got my broom with me if I'm wrong. We're supposed to have been loaded up. We'll see what happens. See if they loaded up the whole trailer or if it was just, just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. I couldn't quite hear them. It's so noisy in there. I couldn't hear what they're saying. 
Oh, we got lots of room in here yet. Okay. Well, I was told that if I have room to go load some stuff at the other side of the building. All right. So I guess we'll go over there and see what they got for us over there. Second part of that load got canceled. So we're just going with what we got. We had about 12 feet available at the back of the trailer. Almost 13 on the one side. And then we had about uh, a little more on the other side. You saw how the pallets were a little uneven. But I think all these pallets are coming off this trailer and being cross docked anyways. And they're going to uh, Surrey, British Columbia. Has that highway opened yet, the Coquihalla? And if not, how is traffic getting through from lo the lower mainland at Vancouver to Calgary or just Revelstoke or anything up there? Like, how are they getting through there? I think I heard someone say that they had one lane open. Was well, it kind of bottleneck there still, or is there another way around? Someone who drives up there regularly, let me know. Right now, I gotta make this right-hand turn and I, uh, I need the whole road, including the lane here. So I don't want to block it just yet, just in case the people are turning, like this guy here. See, I don't want to take his lane away from him. And all of these people. So I gotta let them pass. And then wait for an opening here. I gotta look around this school building. And wait for an opening and then make my move. There's another car coming there. I'm gonna wait till after that car. And we should be good. Unless if that car parks right in my way here now because of this traffic light. They're gonna park right in my way, aren't they? Okay. Wait, nope, now this van. There's so many things to keep your eye on when you're driving a big rig through a city like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. He's gonna move. There we go, good timing. Good timing, there we go, see? Bada bing, bada boom. Make that driver a little nervous at first, there you go. See, no reason to be scared of us truckers, we're okay. We got you. We're more scared of you than you are of us, just remember that. I would much rather be on a road filled with truckers than a road filled with just regular private cars. <laughs> so this is Chalmers Avenue. I think that was Elmwood School right there. It's a little bit of a tight neighborhood to get into. It's a very messy day here as well because we're close to the melting point. The snow is starting to melt and it's just creating a big mess. Winnipeg's got a lot of painted murals on the sides of buildings. It's really neat to see. Whatever neighborhood you go into has different historical pictures painted on them. All right, now we gotta turn left here without freaking anybody out too much. All right, everybody. Okay, you got your signal on. I appreciate that. I'm gonna give her then. Traffic works so much better when everybody follows the rules properly and uses their turn signals. You always gotta go nice and slow, take it easy. We're a 75 foot unit crawling through the tight streets here. I mean, Europeans look at this and they laugh. They think this is a big wide open freeway. No, to us here, this is a very tight neighborhood. <laughs> I had someone comment on one of my videos last week asking, you know, why are trucks so long? Why do they have such long wheelbases in North America? Well, mainly because it looks cool. <laughs> but also because you can fit a bigger sleeper on the truck then. You can be a lot more comfortable, so comfort is the main thing. And when it comes to our roads, our roads here are designed and built for longer wheelbase trucks like ours. We don't need those tight little, tiny little European trucks here. They would work fine. I don't know why they're not sold here. Like, why don't we have uh, Scania and uh, uh, European Volvo and Man and all these European trucks? Why aren't they sold here? It, it's not like the other way around when, uh, you know, our trucks couldn't be sold in Europe because they wouldn't fit on the roads. But their trucks could be sold here but I'm pretty sure there's some big, big CEOs and
big money lobbying against that because then that would take business away from the American manufacturers making trucks here in North America. So I get that. You know, we want to support our own local manufacturing plants here in North America and our own North American trucks. For us, America, like the United States is right next door. So it's a lot easier logistically just to get our trucks from the United States. If we would order them from Europe, well, they'd either have to go over, over by boat or we'd have to build manufacturing plants here in Canada to build their trucks here. Sort of like we build uh, like import cars here. Like that Honda was assembled here in North America. It wasn't assembled in Japan. It was designed in Japan, but it was made here, right? I don't know why we can't do that with European semi-trucks. I, We have European cars on our roads all over the place. I don't see any right now. <laughs> oh, mostly Japanese and American, let's be honest. But you know, you get the European cars. Why can't we have European trucks? I think it'd be interesting. I don't know how well they would do though, because they wouldn't be very popular here. People want the bigger space. But anyways, enough of me yapping. I'm just sitting here in traffic. A lot of traffic all over the country. Everywhere you go, traffic, traffic, traffic. Oh, green light, green light. I may as well yap for a little bit longer. See if I can get around this corner before it turns yellow. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm gonna need both lanes here, bud. Thank you for realizing that. Appreciate that. I'm just gonna, whoa. Whoa, that was close. No, just look that way. We're good. We're good. <laughs> the way the shadow was bouncing off my trailer <laughs> caught me off guard a little bit. We had lots of room. You know, if they had European trucks here in North America, but customized them to have the longer wheelbase and bigger custom sleepers, you know, I think they could make some, I think they could make some money with them here. But like I said, there's probably some pretty, pretty influential people lob lobbying against that. That van trailer is going to be my friend tomorrow, all day. I have a load that's in it, that's going to Kenora. But tomorrow is supposed to be one big blizzard again. So it's gonna be fun. We'll see if we can even get out of the yard. We'll wake up in the morning, we'll look out the window, we'll look at the weather forecast. If it doesn't change from what the weather forecast is right now, I don't know if we're gonna be going out with it tomorrow or not. There's supposed to be 80 kilometer an hour winds, 50 mile an hour winds up to 14 centimeters of snow. So that's six inches of snow or so, I think, somewhere in there. Six to 10 inches of snow and whiteout conditions with visibility being reduced to zero at times according to Environment Canada. <laughs> so it's a good day to go to Kenora. We'll see what happens with that. We're gonna do our best, we'll, we'll get here. We got four wheel drive. I have every confidence in my ability to get here and get to Kenora. I'm just nervous about all the other people on the road with me. They make me nervous. <laughs> Guess we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go park because we're done for today. And tomorrow looks like, as long as the weather would be okay, it'd be an easy day just to van load into Kenora and back. It would take half the day. If I leave here by 7 a.m., I'd be back like just afternoon or something, but. Tune in, tune in tomorrow, I guess, to find out what's going on. <laughs> it's a whole load of drywall. I'll show you it tomorrow. That's that's tomorrow. That's a tomorrow problem. I'm not even going to open the doors on that trailer right now and check on it. That's a tomorrow problem. All right, today is over. Only worry about today. Let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. Right? Otherwise, you get all stressed out and all. Uh, tomorrow problem, right there. Kenora in a blizzard. Hey boy! Hey boy! It's me! It's me! It's me! You stay down, Chevy. You stay down. 
stay down. So hard, eh? So hard. Yesterday? Yeah.